Okay, factor x to the fourth minus 16 completely. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite x to the fourth minus 16. And we have to ask ourselves, how many terms do we have? If we look, we have two terms, an x to the fourth and a 16. They are separated by a subtraction. There is no GCF. So this is a good sign that we're going to use difference of two squares factoring. So when we use difference of two squares factoring, we basically want to find out the term that will multiply by itself to make the terms that we're starting with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make two sets of parentheses. Because whenever we do difference of two squares factoring, we're going to have two sets of parentheses. And I'm going to ask myself, how do I break apart an x to the fourth? Well, I simply just take my four and I divide it by two. And I get x squared in both sets of parentheses. Now I have my minus. So I'm going to have a plus minus. And I ask myself, what number times itself is 16? You got it, it's four. So because four times four is 16. Now, if you look right here, you might think you're done. I know I can't factor x squared plus four, but I can actually keep on going. I can factor x squared minus four. So I'm going to rewrite this. and I have my x squared plus 4. But now I need to factor x squared minus 4. So if I have x squared minus 4, I have to ask myself how I can rewrite it. Well, I look at my x squared first, but let's make two sets of parentheses again, because this is another difference of two squares factoring. So I have to ask myself, how do I break apart x squared? Well, I just take that 2 and divide it by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm going to be left with an x and an x. Now, my minus becomes a plus minus, just like before. And now I ask myself, what makes 4? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. So I have x plus 2 and x minus 2. So my final answer for this problem is x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. And that's how you factor x to the fourth minus 16 completely.